Hi, in this lecture, I will start adding CSS to small business web page, which we created in the previous section of HTML. Let us start adding CSS. Okay, this is the HTML markup of small business web page, which we created in the previous sections. I have not yet added CSS to style.css. Before I start adding CSS to style.css, I have to add CSS classes to each div so we can target them specifically. Let us start adding classes to these divs. To the main <coughs> container, I will add class main container. I will add single row to this div. single row and inside the single row for the header section I will add left column class column left and the same way I will add class for right column we have an anchor tag and this will act and a button as a button so we also need to add a class to this class and let us say dtn button moving toward separator same way I will add class main container and then inside the main container I will add class single row for the feature section class main container and I will add single row for the feature section single row so for in the feature section we have divided a single row in three equal columns so let us add classes for these three columns column 1 class for column 2 and class for column 3 moving toward footer section I will add main container class and single row class inside the main container And let us say class column footer for this now we have added classes to each div and we can target them easily in style.css okay before I start adding CSS to style.css let me show the result of this HTML markup in a browser Okay. this is the result of HTML markup there is no CSS right now let us start adding CSS to this simple business web page I will start adding some comments to the style.css let us add some padding to the body element so we can add some space above the body element padding top will create some space at the top of body element let us say 100 pixel let's apply some font family font family the first font should be the Arial, and if area is not available on the system then any sans serif font will be applied let's add some color to the text which will be 333 
Okay, this is a space added at the top of body element by using padding top. Let us add some CSS to these H2 and H1. I think this is H2. Let us fix it. It should be H1. I have to fix it in the header section. This should be H1, not H2. I will save it. Okay, let us add some CSS to H1 and H2. The font size for H1 will be font size would be 36 and font size for H2 will be 30 pixel. Let's, let's add some common CSS to H1 and H2 like this way H1 and H2. I will add some margin top 20 pixel so we can create some space at the top of H1 and H2 and margin bottom would be 10 pixel for bottom space and for the font weight it should be normal let's add some CSS to the paragraph font size should be 14 pixel and line height should be 150 percent of the font text 21 pixel and also let us add margin bottom of 20 pixel let us see the result in the browser okay looks fine this is the paragraph I can see the style sheet in Chrome developer tool okay moving forward now we have two main containers the main container and the single row which is common throughout this entire HTML file let us add CSS for these containers I will copy it main container the width of the main container will be 100% of the browser and um, let us align center align it margin 0 this is for top and bottom and the left and right would be auto this will center align the main container and single row would be also 100% of the main container okay now moving toward the header section in the header section we have two or three classes column left column right and btn class let us add css to these classes column left column left will be 63% of the single row and column right will be 32% 32% of the single row let's add some common CSS to, for both column left and column right for column left and for column right it should float to the left it should have padding of left to some 15 pixel and padding of right 15 pixel there is an image inside column left the width for this image should be 100% of 
column left and let's add some border radius of 6 pixel to this image let us see the result in the browser for the header section okay there's a mistake in the CSS for the image tag okay I should add image in the left column we have image tag so it should be like this now let us see the result still there I think we still have a problem okay the class is column left let me check this class it is called left okay fine let us add t now it is okay column left let us see the result again yeah it looks fine okay the feature section is floating so we have to fix it okay do you see this problem the feature section is floating towards header section this is to clear the floats of header section let us do it for that I need to add a clear fix div here div with class clear fix and let us add CSS for that too clear fix clear both Now it looks fine. Let us add some CSS to this anchor tag. BTN padding should be ten pixel, ten and sixteen pixel for the top and bottom it is 10 pixel and for the left and right it would be 16 pixel and the font size would be 18 pixel with line height of uh, 28 pixel okay I will add some border radius of 6 pixel Okay, and uh, let's add color to white and background color, background color to this three three seven A B seven. Let's remove the underline. It will be removed by te text decoration with none property, and it should display as an inline block. And the text transformation transformation transform would be uppercase okay, looks fine let's add some CSS to this separator HR let's add some space at the top which is margin top 20 pixel and the margin bottom would be 20 pixel too and let us say border to 0 but add border top 1 pixel solid and the color would be triple D. now it looks fine Let us start adding CSS to the feature section. In the feature section, we have three columns 
column 1, 2 and 3. Let us add some common CSS to three, these three columns. Column 1, column 2 and column 3. Each of these columns should occupy 30% of single row and it should flow to left and the padding left should be 15 pixel and padding right should be 15 pixel. Yeah, looks, looks fine. Let's add CSS to these anchor tags. The style, the class I added for this is, I think I didn't edit the classes for this anchor tag. Let's add classes to these anchor tags. It would be btn info. Let me copy it for the other anchor tags. Okay, let's add CSS to this btn info it should display inline block padding around it should be 6 pixel and 12 pixel and the font size for this should be 14 with line height 21 pixel and font weight should be normal and let us add cursor to pointer and the border should be 1 pixel solid C E C E C E and um, the border radius would be 4 pixel text decoration should be none and the color should be triple three let us see the result in a browser okay i think there is a problem with the padding let me fix it. Padding. Padding is okay. The problem is with the line height. Do you see? It has added line height of 2 pixel, which is wrong. It should be 21 pixel. Let me fix it. 21 pixel. And let us see the result again. Now it looks good. Let's add CSS to the footer section. For the footer section, before I add CSS to the footer section, we need to add CSS for BTN hover effect. The color should be triple three and background color should be let us say E6. E6 E6 and the border color should become AD AD AD. This CSS will be applied when this button will be hovered by user. Let us add CSS for the footer section. We have a column of Call footer. Let me copy it. Call footer, and we need to just add a padding of 30 pixel top and bottom, and zero pixel on the left and right. Call footer. Okay. 
it is not taking up let me check it in the chrome developer tool okay for that i have to also clear the floating let me copy this div and let us clear the floating after feature section and it will fix it do you see this div clears the floats for the feature section and now it is looking good well in this lecture we added CSS to this small business web page and um, you can see CSS in style.css okay in the next lectures uh, I will be introducing you JavaScript and jQuery see you there thanks